What's up guys, Clayton here with Ideaswell. In this quick video tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to change an image on a website built with the Divi Builder. Let's jump right to it. Starting with the login screen. Now if you're not sure where that's at, it could be at whatever your .com is slash WP hyphen admin. However, if your designer is a pro or if they know what they're doing, or if they just are concerned about security, it's gonna be something different. Contact your designer or developer and they can tell you where to go. The site we're going to be working with today is pausrescuegroup.com, an excellent rescue organization out of Seminole, Florida. All right, so once you're logged into the site, you're going to see an admin somewhat like this. What I suggest you do is come out of the admin. You can go up here to the top left, drop down, it's going to give you an option to visit site. Go ahead and hit that. That's going to take us to the front end of the website. Now, if it's not the home page you want to edit, just go to whichever page you want to edit. And from there, you're gonna be hitting Enable Visual Builder. And once it loads up, you can see now that when you hover over areas of the site, they become highlighted. Now, if you have an image like this and there's no text over it, it is likely a regular Divi image module. However, if there's text on top of the image, it is a background image. So I'm gonna show you how to edit both of those in this video, but let's go ahead and start out with the easy Divi image module. Now, all these little highlighted areas that you're seeing being outlined are basically divs, uh, div containers. And you have kind of the outermost, a little bit further inside, and then the row, and then inside of the smallest container are the actual Divi modules. So you kind of have these layers, and these are for design purposes and layout purposes. So in this particular section we're looking at, we've got a specialty container. Inside of that, we have a row. And inside of the row on this side of the specialty container, we actually have the image module we're going to edit. And we're going to jump right to the edit wheel there. It looks like a little gear icon. Click on that. And to change this image out, you can either click on the image directly or, again, on the little gear icon. Now, the default is normally upload files. In this case, it was media library. You can go ahead and select any of these images. And once you've selected one, hit Upload Image. Or, if you want to upload files, select the file you want to upload. Let's go with this one, just for demonstration purposes. All right, now once that image finishes uploading, with it selected, you're gonna hit the Upload Image button. However, if you are concerned about your site's search engine optimization, be sure to fill out the alt text, the title, caption, and description. And Two more steps to save this. You need to hit the check icon and then down here hit this little purple circle to open up the save option. Now once you hit that save option it will be saved. Now luckily for us Divi has a really cool feature which is the undo feature. We're just going to hit command Z because I'm sure they don't want pictures of trees that has nothing to do with dogs on their pet adoption website. All right. So that is the basic way to change most images you're going to see on a Divi site. However, there is the background image. Let's see if we have one on this side. I don't believe we do. Now, although I don't see a background image in use currently on this website, I'm going to go ahead and put one in so I can show you guys how to change it if you happen to see one. Okay, so if you see something like this where you have text directly on top of an image, normally it's going to be bold and some you know bold color so you can actually read it but hit the gear icon, come down here to background. Now, you may see a color here, but what you wanna go over to is the image. And again, click directly on that image and you can change what it is, or you can delete it entirely by hitting the trash can option here. All right, now that's the basics on changing images. However, I would like to tell you that if you are changing images on your website, be sure to optimize them. If you upload a file that's a couple megabytes big and let's say it's 3,000 pixels wide, which is what a lot of phones take by default these days, you're uploading an image that is way bigger than it needs to be for display on a website. So what do you do? Well, you need to compress that image and you also need to shrink its size down, its proportions. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in the next video. 
be sure to watch it. It's going to be called something like preparing your images for use on a website, optimizing them, compressing them, um, ultimately making them web friendly. All right, be sure to check that one out and I've got many more videos coming. Cheers.